Oh wow, what is this? I've got a ton of spider ants spawning in all at once here. And this guy. Oh, I got hit there. Wrong weapon. And the Black Queen. Try to get rid of these little guys. If I shoot the little guys, at least the uh, chain reaction will still hit the queen. And I do want to clear out the little guys so I don't get uh, swarmed. So this black queen's almost dead. Kind of got lucky there. I could have easily got swarmed with that Black Queen past the archway. I was, but they didn't come, and they also didn't shoot me either. I got lucky that the uh, the Black Queen didn't shoot. Oh, I think I got hit by a re reflected bullets. Oh. I think I got hit by the reflected bullets again. So that's something that doesn't usually happen unless the queen is close. Another one down. Shot again. Explosives. And shot again. At least I've got a shot on the on the hind quarters here. I don't think I've got the crit oh, I did get I might have got the criticals there, difficult to tell. Stay still. Hold it right there. So that could have turned out much worse there with both queens getting past the archway. I was worried I was going to be in trouble there. Oh, you're on keyboard, yeah. Sometimes it's been it's been uh, been having cold mornings here and when my fingers are cold I need to get clumsy even typing on the keyboard so I certainly know what it's like to do clumsy typing when my, my fingers are cold in the mornings wait I ain't got no tongue emotes hello phase flaky how are you going There you go, got a tongue emote. Are you doing good? That's good to hear. Doing well. We still have more spider ants. Something else spawning here, another. So this, we've got a spider ant heavy section. We haven't had any bandits or surveys. It's been 100% gotcha. spider ants here. Something behind, yeah, still more spider ants. So. Looks like this particular section is just gonna be spider ants. Just saw another fire spider ant drop down there. Stop. Vault Hunter, this is there we go. 
Oh yeah, streamer man. ETA until you get your emote. Yes, that's true. I do need to organize some emotes. I've been thinking about, I was trying to get, just do some uh, text emotes, text-based ones. But uh, none of the fonts I was trying to use worked out did uh, worked out when you shrunk them down to emote size so that was kind of a roadblock that I found I'm still looking for a good font that's legible when you shrink it down to emote size then I was going to make a bunch of uh, text emotes I just paid someone on Fiverr yeah that's that's probably a good way to do it I've, I was looking at a, a lot of the uh, graphic designers I was looking at charge a ton of money to, to create a uh, create emotes like hundreds of dollars and I didn't want to spend hundreds of dollars for emotes but five is probably a better idea just to find someone on Fiverr to make some emotes it's be much cheaper than these graphic designers that are what want hundreds of bucks for for a set of emotes that's kind of turned me off trying to hire someone for emotes because uh, it seems really expensive, but five is probably the way to go there. So we got the uh, boneheads here. Oh, this Marauder snuck up on me. What do we have here? Probably another Marauder, yeah. Another Marauder. We'll use the Seer Pimpernel here for this guy. More enemies. This guy's got a. What has he got? Some explosive weapon. Grenade launcher, maybe. They did mine. It's ten bucks per emote. Well, that's more reasonable. If you need a starting point. Yeah, that's more reasonable. I'll, I'll look into that. That's certainly cheaper than the uh, hundreds of dollars I've seen some graphic designers charge for emotes. Try to get back before I get uh, enemies spawning all around. Oh, he didn't die. Still not dead. It's probably not slag, that's why. I've copy pasted this enemy to harass you from several directions. I'm watching out for the boneheads. Oh, we got a wall loader this time. At least the converge got a bunch of a uh, bunch of these loaders slagged at once. This is good. And there's still a bonehead here. Oh, that's unfortunate. We've got a iron loader shield. Just hopefully watch out for bonehead grenades. I think we might have killed the bonehead. We just have other loaders now. Another one stuck in the corner. They died to a super badass loader. That's an OP4. Yeah, they can be they can be troublesome. Particularly if you get caught out without cover. They can take you down very quickly. 
Yeah, I've seen those two at first. So I did a bit more research and talked to others, ended up at Fiverr comparing artists and their prices for what I wanted at the time, yeah. And for 10 bucks, they're pretty decent. I could possibly do them myself, but effort, yeah. Yeah, that definitely seems like the way to go. Some of these, I think a lot of these graphic designers just take advantage of the, take advantage of streamers and just charge a rip off prices for their, for their stuff. It's two of them probably. Grenades coming through. I saw the grenade throw animation from that bonehead. Another grenade. Couple corrosive. Another one. Hit by that grenade. See if I can just wait here. One more bone head. I'll wait until my phase lock cools down. Get hit by this grenade again. Okay, still one enemy way off in the corner. Five is pretty cheap, quick, and lets you pay with PayPal. Yeah, that seems to be the way to go. I'll take a look at that Fiverr artist and See what see what I can find. And you like support independent artists. Yeah. That seems to be a good way to do it. What the actual brother and his girlfriend both walking past one with three bananas, one with three oranges. Well best best not to ask. Best not to ask. Yes, exactly. You, you, you may never eat fruit from that fruit bowl again. No. Oh, out of ammo. That's interesting. Let's have a look at this. Maybe we'll swap in the Herald. Go for the Herald. Well, that's that. So that we just made it, even though we ran out of uh, SMG ammo at the end there. Don't want to ask whatsoever, correct? Did that way too calmly. I don't even want to know where, where those bananas are going. And the oranges, yeah. Best leave that leave that mystery unsolved. Well, that's something else we need to do. We need to spend our iridium. We've got a bunch of iridium. We can buy some ammo upgrades. Pick up some of this junk here. Corrosive Bone Shredder. Am 
more iridium. So we have to be careful now, we've run out of SMG ammo. just going to farm a horn at this point. That's one weapon I haven't farmed is actually a hornet. I don't know, I'm not actually using corrosive weapons at all. A hornet might be useful. I'm having good success with the uh, with the shock Shock Pimpernel and the Shock Bone of the Ancients for the Surveyors, so I guess it's not a huge, uh, huge need for the, uh, for the Hornet. It's certainly a powerful, powerful weapon if you need it. So many armor guys, yeah. Very, very nice weapon for armoured guys. Hornet on Axton. Oh, so that's a good weapon for Axton. Because all of his speed sp speed skills fast shooting, fast reloads and with the B, yeah. Yeah, sounds like Axton has a lot of a uh, can be powerful character. And 80% grenade splash, which is buffed by all your grenade buffs. Oh, with the Hornet. Yeah, it's splash damage with the Hornet. Oh, another, another shredder. I definitely need the money so I can sell off those Bone Shredders. Some more junk to sell. Green shield there. How are we doing for SMG ammo? Not too bad. Back to 1300 out of 1600. Oh, sounds... Sounds like Axton might be a... Might be a fun time, actually. I've heard lots of people uh, criticise Axton as being boring or whatever, so didn't know what to think about Axton. Sounds like you can have fun with Axton. Sounds like he has some fun skills and builds he can use. So let's go. Let's swap. We can swap this Harold back out for the Sandhawk. We'll try this for the to begin with, and again I can use that uh, Tesla grenade preemptively with the uh, Doc Mercies. That's probably a good idea to get into. If any character is boring, it's Gage, right? Yeah, I haven't tried Gage, so something I still need to experience. But. Uh, with the little bit of accident that I did play, I did enjoy the messing around with the turrets. Gage is fun until ultimate vault hunter mode, right. So what do we have here? We've got the... We've got Mercy here. Okay, let's go ahead and oh I tried twice to switch to my inventory screen it wouldn't let me do it where's this other enemy maybe because I was just uh, just on a little crest there I hit the inventory button twice and it didn't work 
So I think I'm, I think I might have been. Uh, I think I might have been right on the uh, right on a little crest there. Breakneck Banshee, that's a green one. Next time you're bleeding to death, just think. Homing Singularity. Not much there. Don't get killed. You Chats at fault. No, I think I was just. Uh, I waited too. I waited too long to switch out the B shield. That's what the problem was there. I should have switched out the B shield earlier when those spider ants were coming on top of me. Where that F came from is beyond me at this point. Oops, I didn't mean to buy that. Wasn't there a Call of Duty game that was like press F to pay your respects? Some like cutscene. Yeah, from Call of Duty, yeah. There was some cutscene in Call of Duty where you had to press F to to pay your respects to a in a uh, in a funeral. So I think it came from that. So let's check the ammo here. So I definitely, when I do that Doc Mercy section, if I start to get swarmed by the enemies, I need to switch out the B shield earlier. Otherwise, I'm going to be in trouble. Farewell, friend. So let's uh, we can sell off our junk while we're here. Make a bit of money. Cannon. Pistol. Launcher. Bone shredder. Keep picking up these bone shredders and thinking they might be useful, but I don't think they are. Probably just a good source of money. Sell them off. So sell that. A fantastic day for capitalism. Remember. Me. Yeah, just have to be a little bit more conservative with things like uh, preemptively using the Tesla grenades and uh, swapping out the B-Shield before I get completely swarmed. I think I'll be able to get a little bit further if I just uh, be a little bit more cautious in that regard. Oh, I just remembered I got a World Drop Cradle from Jack Cardboard Stand. I keep, I keep waiting to get something decent from those cardboard stands. That reminds me I should uh, save quit. Oh, that's very good. I keep waiting to get something good from those uh, cardboard cutouts, but I never, never do. Almost dead. But I have heard it's possible to, to, get, um, to get some nice world drops from those. You do have a chance to. I've never been lucky. So that's good. You got past the uh, OP2 that was causing you problems, and at least you got a got a nice world drop from the cardboard cutouts. If you could stand, please assemble here, and we can begin. It's not a good shield at all, but it's a good thing to see drop from something like that. Yeah, it's a very, it's a nice, a pleasant surprise. Pleasant surprise. I got, uh, I got, oh, I, I think I've sold it, but I got that legendary shield. It was a world drop from a spider ant as well. Let's see if I'm lucky this time, now that we're talking about it. We've got a green SMG. Hello Froto, 
How the hell are you, mate? I haven't seen you stream in a while. I'm doing very well. We're up to OP9 with Maya here. So nine, 9 out of 10 of the OP levels. So I guess we've got two more to go. We have to complete OP9 and complete OP10. So we're making progress. Two more levels to complete. And then we'll be... Then we've done this Mai here up to OP10. The Raven Skag coming. Let's prioritize this guy. And a bar tank. Let's actually shoot this bar tank while we have the phase lock. Might be a better idea. Oh, certainly was. I think I got some uh, chain reaction shots there. Certainly sounded like it on that bar tank when we had the spider ant uh, phase locked. Let's try with this guy. Oh, I lost my shield. I think most of my bullets bounced off there. Generally these sappers aren't that tanky. I think he must just must have just got lucky with his uh, bullet reflections. Spider tank sure does like to shoot fast. Difficult to get the shots off on that spider tank without losing my B shield. Complete OP9. That's it. No more. You're OP10. Oh, okay. So you, when you reach OP10, you don't have to do. There's not one more level for OP10. All right. So this is the last last level then. Yeah. I kind of thought that maybe you needed to. Complete the mission one more time in OP10. So it looks like the OP9 is it. You don't no more missions after OP9 once you complete that one. Oh, that's interesting. So this is the last last level. That makes it a bit more exciting knowing that this is the last one. Probably have some blaster nomads next. Oh no, something different now. Something over here. It's a bit of skag. And some spider ants. Oh, and the tank. We've got some spider ants in a tank. Let's see if I can phase lock the spider ant and then uh, shoot the tank while the spider ant's phase locked. Where is this spider ant? He doesn't want to come forward. Spider ant is destroyed now. I think that's a good, that's a good strategy for this, for those tanks if you can get those chain reactions rolling for the phase locked enemy. Click on the item well enough. I 
Anyone got any idea info for another Borderlands game? Or for a new one? We want recommendations for a uh, existing one. That's it. Was maybe hinted by Randy. It was in development. Yeah. I'm sure they're working on something. Yeah, a new one. Because I'm wondering if they might bring out Borderlands 4. I'm sure. I'm sure it's a. It's a. It's a successful franchise. So I'm sure they will be. I'm sure they are working on another one. Question is, where, will they learn from their mistakes with Borderlands 3? Try to make it more like Borderlands 2? Or will they just keep it like Borderlands, more like Borderlands 3? So this is definitely different from last time. Oh, look at this uh, badass loader here. How are none of these shots hitting at all? Watch out for this wall loader. Not doing a ton of damage to the wall loader, but no reason to take any chances here. Just took off. Few pixels on my shield there. Now, this corner section is certainly more involved than previously. I don't think we were facing any enemies in this corner section last time. All this map looks like they were hand drawn first. That's why it takes so long to make another one maybe. Yeah, it does have that art style. It does have that art style where all the textures look uh, have that hand drawn cartoony look to them. All I heard was that he hinted Borderlands 4 from Jolt Dude. Yeah. I'd be pretty confident that they would be making another Borderlands game. Borderlands 2 will forever be the best Borderlands game in my opinion. Seems like that's pretty pretty popular opinion that Borderlands 2 was the best one. Of course Borderlands 2 is the best. Yeah. Definitely seems to be the most highly regarded Borderlands 2. Yeah, the cartoon looks make it a game that can last forever the test of time. Exactly. With that sort of a cartoony art style, the graphics age much better. If they tried to go for a realistic art, realistic style, then it does make the graphics uh, date much more quickly as uh, graphics technology gets better. Best gun DLCs. Plot, literally everything. Yeah. The feel of the guns is probably the best. The most satisfying feel for the guns. Might as well just wait for the phase off here. Pick up this junk to sell off. No matter how old it gets, it still looks like a cartoon. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, the graphics have uh, aged very well because of the art style. 
It's only a smart move, really. Smart move if you want your want to have a long longevity for the game. Choose a cartoony art style. There's some enemies up above, but they're not aggroed on me. They're just hanging up there. Now he's moving. Marauder. That's probably why he was staying up there, because the marauders do like to take cover. Maniac right behind. Now we have the constructor. No. I was expecting a constructor. But maybe we don't have one on this level. Oh, this is the level with the marauders, I think. So this particular RNG might just have the uh, bunch of marauders. And a rabid skag. Keep an eye out for those rabid skags. They can become a problem very quickly. Now we've got the scorches. Try to keep these scorches together if I can. Calm down. Oh, wasn't paying attention to the location of the other scorch. But I did get an opportunity to shoot me from behind. to have them together. Also good for the uh, chain reaction if they're together like this. Oh, I got shot in the back there. I'll let my shields recover before I start to using the phase lock skill. Sweet spot with the chain reaction there. Game lagged out a little bit. I probably should be aiming more for the uh, backside of the spider ants, even with the pimpernel. Get those critical hits. I generally just try to aim low when I have them phase locked, just aim low on the spider ants. It probably might be a better idea to try to get that uh, get that back section. We have a full load of junk to sell off. Let's do that. Got a pistol. Launcher. A ton of grenades to sell. A 
SMG and a sniper. Not again, round six of you can guess. So you're up to round six. It's possible to do the OP levels without the B shield. Yeah, is it possible? Using another legendary? Probably. It probably can. I think the B shield is probably the easiest way to do it, but uh, it probably can. Probably re would require more more skill to do it, though. So, when you think murder, think Marcus I'm sure uh, people have done it, but B shield is probably the easiest way. Easiest way to go. Let's swap in the pistol loadout. And Cleric Class Mod Sheriff's Badge. No, round six the oh the weed smoking, right. So it's so he's on the on the sixth sixth round for today with the weed. Longbow, let's go for the lob Tesla here. So I've got the pistols, cleric class mod sheriff's badge. He must be he must be going through a lot of weed. He must be must spend a lot of money on weed. Be smoking that much of it. Alright, so let's remember to use these grenades we have the horn skags to begin with Enough. Okay, coming in. Guess I don't really have to wait for the B shield to recover because I'm using the Herald here. I think I got hit by my own cloud kill there. Did not switch over to the didn't switch over to the grog nozzle fast enough. Too preoccupied with the uh, with the Tesla grenades. Didn't switch over to the grog nozzle fast enough. Yeah, it should have been preemptively throwing those Tesla grenades sooner. Two thirty AM. Yeah, it definitely sounds like he's got a problem if he's smoking weed day day and night into the early morning. Why do people smoke weed? Can I ask? They not understand it. Smoke it because they like being stoned. Yeah. Yep. And then they get addicted. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I do not really see the point still, though. Maybe I'm just a simple guy. GG. I guess another option is maybe he suffers from chronic pain. He might be using weed to manage pain. Rubberized Tesla. And nothing interesting in the shops. High 
chronic is like internal, right? A chronic is like uh, chronic is like a never ending. So it's like can like uh, continual, not continual, but uh, something that won't heal. Not won't heal. My living room window looks down to his garden. Now oh, that makes sense. So the smoke is rising up and then going into the window. Yeah, so that makes sense. Yeah, that's unfortunate to set up there. If you've got a uh, weed smoker right underneath the wind underneath the window, that's probably the worst case there. Good luck. Okay, so let's uh, save quit. I definitely have to be more liberal throwing the Tesla grenades with Dukino's mum. I was trying to trying to be uh, conservative with them, and I don't really need to. I've got ten of them to use. Uh, let's check the shops here. Adaptive shield, mob transfusion, and the launcher. So before the next attempt, I'll take a short break and I'll be right back. <laughs> 